Hello everyone, welcome back to Simple Networkings. In this video, we are going to see DNS, Domain Name System. What we are going to cover in this video is DNS introduction, how DNS works, types of DNS servers, how computer load a website. Finally, we will see the live demo in this simulation. Let's get started. DNS stands for Domain Name System. DNS system that translate human to friendly domain names like www.example.com to numerical IP addresses. Today's world, everything is digitalized. For digitalization, internet is required. And in internet, DNS is playing a huge role. When we are typing a URL into the browser, we will type only website name like www.google.com or www.facebook.com. Actually, system and servers knows the unique numbers like IP addresses. System and server will not understand the human languages like website name. As a human, we could not remember all website IP addresses because it is not easy to memorize. But human can able to remember the all website names like google.com, facebook.com, etc. To overcome from this, DNS came into the picture. Before going technically, I will give you non-technical example to understand DNS. Here we will take the example for contact list or phone book and the name is David. We have contact list or phone book in our mobile. Using contact list, we can find the name of the telephone number and same way number to the name, right? If you know someone names, but we don't know their telephone number. So what we will do, we will go to the mobile phone book or contact list. Simply we will look into the phone book and find the contact number, right? So same way how contact list is helping us to translate the someone names to their telephone number. Same way DNS is providing the same services to the internet. When we are visiting the domain such as google.com or facebook.com, our computer use DNS to retrieve the website IP addresses. Then our web browser is loading to the website. What is the DNS port number and protocol? DNS port number 53, DNS use two protocol UDP and TCP. UDP is the default one. Please write your answer in the comment box which scenario DNS will use TCP protocol. Here is a sample breakdown of how DNS works. When we type a URL into our browser, our computer sends a request to the DNS server. And DNS servers finds the corresponding IP addresses. Also, DNS servers responds to the request by retrieving the IP address to our computer. Then our computer sends a request to the IP address of the server where the website is hosted. And Website server response with the website web page will be displayed in our browser. This entire process happens almost every time whenever we are typing a URL into our browser. How computers load a website? When we try to access a web page from the browser like www.youtube.com, first it will check the browser cache, then it will check the Windows operating system. The operating system checks the local DNS cache to see if there already has the IP address for the domain store. If the IP address is found, then it skips the next step process. If local cache does not have the required information, then the DNS resolver come into the picture. It sends the DNS query to the configured DNS server in the operating system. So here we have configured the DNS server is 192.168.1.1. Then this request, this system will send the request to the DNS resolver. The IP address of the resolver is 192.168.1.1. So it will try to find out the youtube.com IP address in the DNS resolver. In case if the IP address finds in the DNS resolver, the process will be stop here. If the IP address is not found for this www.youtube.com, it sends the query to the one of the 13 root DNS server on the internet. So it try to find out the IP address of the www.youtube.com. So the root name server checks whether it is .com or .origin or .net. So here .com. So based on the extension, the root name server give the IP address of the TLD server. Then the DNS resolver sends the request to the TLD server response with the referral to the authoritative DNS server for the domain and requesting IP address for the specific domain. 
then the authority dns server responds with the ip address associated with the requested ip address of the website like www.youtube.com this one so the dns resolver saves the ip address for the future request and send back the ip address to the computer and the computer will send the request to the youtube server using the ip address we are getting the youtube screen so this this dns resolution process will store the record in the cache to answer the further request without going through the entire lookup process we saw theoretically now we will see how computers load a website in the real time if we type www.google.com how it is works this is the multiple process will happen to access the google page first to get the google ip address from the dns server then the browser will be accessed to the google page so first it will check the browser cache if browser cache will maintain the repository of the dns records if not found then it will check this windows os if not then it will check the isp router or we can say modem the dns cache so i will just first i will just tell you so when you are typing www.google.com first this this browser will try to find the dns details from the google chrome browser so that's why when we are catching this when we are clearing the caches we will get this one if you see here some sites may load more slowly on your next visit the reason is this browser this google chrome will maintain some required dns details instead of getting the detail from the dns server this is one step if this steps is not happen then to see the dns configuration is windows so we need to go to command prompt in that command prompt we need to type ip config slash dns so this is the command this is the command ip config slash display dns so if you type here so here we can see all the required details whatever the website we have accessed recently all the websites pages will be stored as a a record in the local system okay see if you see here this one is happening right if this is fails so what it will be do is the next step is ip config slash all if you type here this this is the dns server right so this is the dns server the ip address is 192.168.1.1 means first it will check the google chrome cache then it will check the windows os then finally it will check the the connected device router or modem if it is fails then it will goes to the isp dns server so this many process is happening to avoid getting the information from the other devices instead of then it will try to get the detail within the system to make the fast process types of dns servers there are mainly four types of dns server each playing a specific role in the dns lookup process the first one is the dns resolver also known as the dns records you dns resolver is providing the service by the isp internal service provider DNS server is responsible for handling the queries from the client devices. When clients wants to access a website, the DNS request server performing the entire DNS resolution process on behalf of the client, starting from the root name server. Second one is root name server. There are 13 set of root name server distributed by worldwide. The root name server represent the top level of the DNS hierarchy. Also, it is helping to redirect the DNS queries to appropriate DNS TLD server based on the domain extension. The third one is TLD server. Abbreviation is top level domain. The TLD server is responsible for managing the DNS record from the top level domains. Example, www.google.com, .org, or .net, etc. They are providing the referral to the authoritative DNS server for specific domain within their TLD. The last one is the authoritative server. So this is the final type of DNS server. It is stores the IP address of the requested website. The TLD server responds the within the referral authoritative DNS server from the domain. The authoritative DNS server responds with the IP address associated with the requested domain. We will see how DNS is working in the packet tracer. So I have configured the IP address to the all the PCs as well as the DNS server and web server. The IP address is listed in the label. 
and I have configured the IP. basic configuration is done I will just go quickly open and show you the configuration so this is the IP address and the subnet mask is slash 24 I have used and the DNS server IP address is 192.168.1.1 because this is the DNS server IP address so same IP address is configured to the other PC I will quickly go to the DNS server I will show you the configuration here So same way 192.168.1.1 and this is the default subnet and going back to the web server and this is the IP address and the DNS server IP we need to use 192.168.1.1 okay so now we will just make sure this connectivity how it is working how it is established so going to command from ping 192.168.1. It's a 12.ip is the system IP address. Then we will try to ping 1.1. This is the DNS server IP. Then we will try to ping the dot two. Okay. So all good. Now going back to the DNS server services HTTP. By default HTTP is on. So here we are going to use as the DNS. So we could to turn off the HTTP and HTTPS services here go back to the DNS okay so we need to type the uh, any host name so I'm just going to type the host name as youtube.com and we need to give the IP address so IP address we need to give this web server IP address just assume this web server as a YouTube server so we are going to map this IP address to this server just 1.2 click see you click add that's it okay and we need to turn on the services and now going back to the web services we will make sure this HTTP services are on so this is we need to turn off if it is on we can ignore if it is off it is fine going back to HTTP server we it is turn it's on only now going back to this PC going to web browser we will type youtube.com we will see how the results is coming so youtube.com then hit enter yeah it's opening right so just click this one hello everyone welcome back to simple networking all good now what I will do I will want to show one more thing going back to DNS server see we have a record this means just mapping the host name to the IP address we have some more options I will show you what is C name okay so let's say uh, what is C name I will just quickly explain if you are having one company if you having website like abcd.com due to some reason this website is we are going to close instead of that we are going to create the website as uh, XY just assume like this so um, generally that user end user will type only abcd.com they will not knowing the new website right so what they will do if if suddenly we have closing this website and instead of that we are opening this one the end user will not aware the new one they will try to access this page obviously this server will not work so they will feel okay there was something is happening so they will feel worry right so to avoid that what we can do we can use CNAME so CNAME means in front end this website will work and back end actual this website will work so let's say just what I'm going to do youtube.com instead of that I'm just going to create as um, abcd.com so I mean so instead of youtube.com if someone types abcd.com also it will redirect to the youtube.com so first thing what we need to do we need to type youtube.com only okay add okay now going back to the again same PC okay close open again now I'm going to type abcd.com actually it will redirect to the youtube.com same website only let's see abcd.com hit enter see it is coming back to the same page hello everyone welcome back to simple networking I hope you have understood what is a record and C name record. Now I will just quickly go to the simulation. I will explain the packet capturing. Enable the simulation. Type the youtube.com. You go. Click OK. So the packet is capturing. So we will see the packet. So how the packet is going. Okay. So it is going to the DNS because the first packet will send to the 
IP to find the DNS, right? So it is sending the DNS packet. And as I said, the destination port number is 53 because the DNS port number is 53. So if you see the source IP address is 192.168.1.1, this is the web, ser web server IP address. This is the destination system IP address. And the port number is 80 because we have used HTTP. If you use HTTPS, the port number would be 443. Okay, all right. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated. If you would like to add any points regarding this topic, please feel free to write the comments in the comment box. So it will be great help for the other audience. Thank you once again.